Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. Big telecom company Bell announced Friday that it will be getting even bigger. This telecom giant will soon be in control of Astral Media and the cell phone, internet, radio, and television holdings that come with it. If the CRTC and Competition Bureau approve this deal, it will mean that Bell will take over one-third of Canadian television, one-quarter of Canadian radio revenues, and one-fifth of network media revenues overall. Big Telecom is now set to wield an unprecedented amount of power over communications in Canada. The Bell Astral deal comes less than a year after Bell's acquisition of CTV and Shaw's acquisition of Canwest Global. Concentration in Canada's communications industry is already extremely high by global standards, and more than twice as high as in the U.S. To make matters worse, Canada's big telecom companies have made themselves known for engaging in anti-competitive practices. And because they're both content owners and internet service providers, these large corporations now have even more reason to push for a less open and affordable internet, as online content poses a threat to their own content holdings. In related news, a report released Monday by the Boston Consulting Group reveals that the internet, in addition to being a bastion of cultural and democratic expression, contributed $49 billion to Canada's GDP last year. But we're in trouble. The report shows that Canada's projected internet economy growth rate lags behind those of other developed nations. This means that if we don't shape up, we'll be left with an even bigger digital deficit. As consolidation in Canada's communications industry rises, and especially if the cost of warrantless online surveillance comes into the picture, it's more important than ever that the pro-internet community continue to grow and to push for policies that put users' rights, that citizens' rights, first. For the internet, this is Lindsay with openmedia.ca, signing off.